You have to respond when your child acts out in a violent way and freaks out and is having a freak out attack in a sick way, not a healthy kid. The same as if somebody else beat him up. There's no Bahira, there's no freedom of choice. This is happening to him, especially when he's banging his head in the wall. Nobody, nobody likes that. Getting angry, getting pushing people. You have to realize that he suffered through an attack. And if somebody would beat your kid up and punch him in the face and bang his head in the wall, you would be, oi, oi, what happened? What happened? I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Come, let's go. Let's take care of him. Let's take him out to eat. Let's calm him down. Like you did. You took him away for a weekend. Let's go on vacation. A week later, you'll say, that must have been so hard for you. Our kids are getting beat up from the inside because of their pain and their sickness and their trauma, it makes it look like they're getting a tattoo, they're, they're cursing, they're frustrated. They don't want this. They're sweet. Look how sweet that same kid is. And yet, monster. And the parents who are not doing this, all they see is monster. By you doing this, you're getting a lot of sweet, nice kid, and then we're saying, wow, he can't handle this. And the approach is not, you can't this, you can't that. It's, First of all, NKN. Otherwise, just don't do anything. Just jump in, jump in a, and I don't know, jump off the roof. If you have no NKN, nafshik shuru but you can't do anything. But we, can I, can I hold you? I, he went through an episode. He went through when they fall, they feel like garbage. Can I? I feel like, I feel like I could use a hug. That that that's when they'll say yes. I really feel, and you say I love you so much. Okay, and then if you want to say something, you say. I know how how good you are. I I know you would never behave this way. I saw how much you were struggling. It must have been so hard for you. The same as if somebody approached them with a gun or a knife and was chasing them. That must have been so scary for you, right? Not, we were so scared of you. You're a monster. But you're such a sweet, wonderful person. And I saw that you you lost so much control. Tell me, what was that like for you? It must have been so hard for you. See the difference? These kids say, I'm the, what's his name? The Hulk, right? I'm like the Hulk, I explode, and everybody's scared of me. I'm saying no, there's something that they can't control it. They can't. So even though they're stabbing the walls or they're, they're, they're they, I, I've dealt with people, I'm, I'm not saying this because I'm okay with the behavior. We, ch- we change behavior. We're changing that behavior. We had a mother here who, the kid, wonderful parents, okay? He literally kicked his mother in the ribs, threw her down, kicked her, beat her, and and he's the sweetest kid. Now he's married, he's from, he has kids, uh, best friends with mom and dad. I mean, it's a miracle. But there was no, we, like you said, if we would have done the mainstream, 911, whatever, you, you've done that in the past, it made him worse. So what we're doing is stopping bad behavior, but we're just doing it this way. When, when you think someone's a monster, you say, listen, I don't care what yet you're thinking. You can't do this. You can't do that. Then they feel isolated and more horrible. I would say, because I know you're good. So my premise is they're, they're really good. I would say, that must have been so, so scary for you. It must have been so hard for you. I saw you. You were so triggered. I'm so sorry for what you went through. Then they will calm down. Then... The next step, which could be an hour or a week later, they will say, I'm sorry that I scared all of you. Yeah. Which he did. So he said, okay, I didn't know that. Saying, so he kept saying that. Okay, good. Right. There you go. So when, when the kid does what, if someone would have a video of him freaking out and scaring and getting pushing and violence, right? And you would show it to the whole world and so many therapists who are trained to deal with this, it would all be call 911, throw them in a psych ward. That's all they know. They, the goal would be, I would say, what would you like the end of that story to be? Oh, that the kid should be calm and that the kid should truly apologize for the terror that he put on the family. And that's exactly what you achieved without anybody else's help. Dad got into the picture, not like the dads that say, get in the middle and you don't touch her and all of that stuff. Violence begets violence. You tried that before. That escalated. 
Escalade. Dad comes in here right away. He says, "Come, let's go on. A, let's go on a trip." Takes him away. Uh, a couple days later, he's calm. He's th- you let him get down, and he's apologizing. That's right. That's right. Even when he apologizes, which is what everybody. Yeah, that's when you give the next dose. It's all to get him to be more apologetic. It's, it's all, I'm on your side. People think we're twisted. Like, no, no, no. No, we get them more normal. Never apologize to me. I'm your mother. I'm so sorry for what you went through. You were just, if, imagine a kid is vomiting because they, they're sick. And he says, oh, I'm so sorry. You say, I'm your mother. Never apologize. You, you were vomiting. This is vomiting pain out. So you, you say, just hold you. And that will get him to do it less and to apologize more and together he's going to go quicker to look for help because he's not going to blame everybody else he's going to say something's wrong with me I need help that's because your two choices are in a situation is that he's either going to be upset at you or even worse he's going to be upset at himself which is worse worse. you get it you get the sugya Right? You hear this? They get the sugya. It's all about self-esteem. The worse you feel, the more drugs you need, the worse you behave. So if you get, and the whole world would say, oh, you got him to feel really bad about himself, that's the last thing he needs. Because the worse, he, he, his self-esteem is already minus a thousand, the worse it is, so I got nothing to live for. More drugs, more bad stuff. You don't even want him to feel bad, Right? Because then he's going to look in the mirror and his self-esteem is going to go down and that's too painful for him. He's not healthy enough to feel bad. And with sick kids, we never do that. We always say, you don't have to apologize. You threw up because you're sick. Over here, we're not using the word sick, but when, when, with physical illness, we're so there for our kids, we would say, no, don't apologize. Don't feel bad. It's okay. Over here, we have to learn how to do that also. It's okay. And, and I'm talking about when they steal money and they do horrible things, we, we don't have any kids in jail. We can heal that. We can heal that with this attitude. The world, does, they don't get it. They get caught up on, oh, so it's okay for your kid to steal from you? Oh, so parents should never tell their kid anything? It's like, no, no, no. We're stopping the bad behavior. You did great. <laughs>